Hey guys, it's Ruffles Kerman, and today we are building a hydrofoil. So for those of you who don't know, a hydrofoil is a boat, but it has little pieces underneath it that act like underwater wings. So when it goes fast enough, the rest of the boat rises up out of the water, which means there's a lot less friction with the water, and it can actually go a lot faster, be a lot smoother, because the waves don't affect it as much. So in real life, a hydrofoil is actually pretty cool and very useful, although not very common because you have to have a very fancy boat for it. But in KSP, I've never actually seen it done, and in fact, I didn't actually know it could be done. I just made a hydrofoil and sort of hoped it worked because otherwise I had tried to record a bunch of content for absolutely nothing. But it did work, um, don't worry about that part. But yes, this hydrofoil is not exactly realistic, although it's not that far off. Um, Real life hydrofoils are a little more complicated than this, but let's try our test one to see how this hydrofoil is working. So this is our first test, and all those arrows or pointy things are just the forces that are acting on the boat right now. And as you can see, the body is sort of getting out of the water, but not a lot. So I think it needs to go faster, and there needs to be a little more lift from those underwater wings. We're going to try to give it a little more speed by adding jets to the front hydrofoil as well as the back hydrofoil. And then we're actually going to move the hydrofoils a little bit lower so it's more noticeable when the body is lifted out of the water and it doesn't keep hitting the waves or something. That way it should work a little bit better. We still haven't fixed the lift problem, but now we can at least see what's happening. I've been using Vessel Mover to put this in the water. I don't really want to create a whole rover driving thingy to get a boat into the water. Honestly, I feel like KSP should have something where you can launch water vehicles. I know water vehicles aren't the main part of KSP, but you know they are cool. So this is our test. As you can see, it is getting out of the water. Um, I just ran into the ground because I thought that looked cool. But it is getting out of the water. I still think it could use a couple of tweaks though. So let's go back and let's move this hydrofoil up like that that'll give it more lift in the beginning so the front will always tr be trying to get up out of the water and hopefully that'll make it work a little bit better so we put it in the water and now let's see our results It's working pretty well, although it is a little bit unstable, and part of that's me trying to make it more stable, and it's just not responding very well. So we have to do something to make it more stable. But now I think it's time to make a real hydrofoil. That was a very good prototype, but I think we can do a little bit better. So this will be a hydrofoil with all of the improvements. We're gonna add intakes, make sure none of the engines flamed out. They did that on the first one, but I just added more intakes, so it wasn't a big deal. So we had more intakes. We also wanna have bigger struts, because last time, as you saw, we moved those struts down to try to make it go out of the water a little more. And then with these, we're going to tilt them like we did before. I think I tilt them a little bit later. Um, but yeah, we're going to tilt them to make sure it gives that first hydrofoil a little bit more lift so it's trying to get out of the water. And we're going to add more thrust than we did last time as well. Last time we had one back engine and then four Junos, two on each hydrofoil, which wasn't a lot of thrust. I mean, it sounds like a lot of thrust for a boat, but this is going through the water, which is a lot of friction. So we wanna make sure we have enough thrust to make sure this can actually get in the water, go fast enough to let the hydrofoils do all their work. So we're gonna add some big engines this time. There we go, we move that front hydrofoil a little bit. As you can see, this does work a lot better. I think we can still make it a little more stable, as you saw it twist a little bit there, but this is working a lot better than before, so we're reaching our goal pretty well. In order to make it more stable, I have an idea of twisting the bottom hydrofoil so where they're slanted towards the bottom like that. I believe that's how real hydrofoils do it some of the time, and that should hopefully make it more stable. Well, I mean, I'm recording this after the fact, so I know whether it did or not. Um, it did make it more stable. Yay! Clap, 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 applause. Yeah, whatever. 
It is more stable though, which is what we are going for, which means that we have a pretty stable working hydrofoil in KSP. That's not something I really ever thought I would do or I would see, but look at that. The body's out of the water. It's pretty stable. I can maneuver it. It doesn't turn the greatest, but as you can see, it doesn't exactly have the maneuverability capability to turn. Those are some big words. But it, it, it's stable. It can go straight. If you need it to turn, you can just slow down and turn it like a normal boat. But there you have it, a fully functioning hydrofoil in KSP. If you want the craft file, I can try to put that in the description below, or you can just try to build it off of this video. Speaking of this video, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're not already, and have a great rest of your day.